and this is the final result. Here we exactly cut the portion of the image, so we have a full image and we have the ROI, which is this exact rectangle. Hi there, my name is Sergio and I help companies, students and freelancers to easily and efficiently apply visual recognition to their projects. In this specific video today, we're going to talk about cropping images. More specifically, we will see on the first part of this video how to cut an image either vertically or horizontally. And second, we will see how to crop some portion of an image. Uh, for example, if we get the coordinates of a rectangle and we want to extract that rectangle from the image, we will see how to do that. This is a really basic and important OpenCV function that will be quite useful uh, when you work with computer vision. So, if you're ready, let's start. I have an image which is called colors.jpg. So I'm going first to load this image and then we will show this image on the screen and then we can proceed. You can either use your own image or you can download this image. I have the link on below. There is the blog. So on the blog, you will see all the information, source code, images and files. Uh, now let's move on. I'm going to import CV2, which is the OpenCV library that we will use. So import CV2. Uh, make sure that you have OpenCV installed. Of course, if you don't, there is some, some link on my blog to install that. Then import NumPy as NP. And now we're going to load the image. EMG equals CV2.im read. So we load the image. And now we need to put the path of the image. The path is colors.jpg because I have the image on the same folder. So there is no need to put the entire path. Now that we have the image, we can show the image. cv2.im show. Now we define the name of the window. You can call that as you wish. Let's say image and then emg. Now cv2.wait key, await key event to keep the image open on hold until we press some key. And now I'm going to run this one. So I press run and this is the image that I have. Now, let's suppose that we want only to take only some part of the image of the, this image. So for example, we want to cut this one horizontally around half of the image or half of the image. First of all, we need to understand how the images are displayed and how the images are processed by OpenCV. And to give you a better understanding, I'm going to get the shape of the image. And we have rows and columns, let's say calls and channels, which now it doesn't matter. So let's focus on rows and calls because channels, be because we have colors, but uh, it's not important for this cropping part of the, for cropping the image, uh, emg.shape. And now I'm going to print rows, then rows, and let's print also calls and calls. And let's run this one. Uh, as you see on the printing, we have rows 853, calls 1280. Rows, they are, we have rows, so horizontally we have row 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, till 853, and then we have columns, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on, till 1280. So we can say that the rows are is the height and the columns is the width of the image. So if we want to crop the height, for example, from half to the end of the image, we're going to start from half of the uh, half of the rows to the end of the rows. Let's see an example. Cut image. And now we use mm -hmm. EMG. First of all, we need now to define on which row we begin and on which row we want to end. Let's now begin from the uh, beginning of the image. So 0 to 853, 
that was the number of the rows, if I'm not wrong, yeah, 853. And then from 0 to 1280. And this is our cutted image. Cut, cut image, type of work, uh, probably cut image is correct, okay. Cut image, and uh, let's now show this cut image. cv show cut image, and then cut image, and let's run this one. Uh, of course, now you see the exact same image because we put the entire length of the image. So all the rows and all the columns. Instead of putting all the rows, for example, now, instead of beginning from, 100, uh, from 0 to 853, let's begin around the half. So it will be 853 divided by 2, so I guess around 400, 426. 426 to 853. So we have the full image, the entire image, and then we have the cutted image right here. Because if we take the row, instead of starting from zero, from this one, we count one, two, three, and so on, till 426, then we start from 426 till the end of the image. Um, and then we can end also before, for example, if we from 426 to 526, for example, uh, it will be somewhere around here. So this is zero for this new image. We start from 426 and we end to 526. And we can do the same cutting on on the horizontal uh, side, so on the width. Uh, so let's start around the position of the hand, this one, which I don't know now exactly the position of the hand, I can guess that it starts from around 250 pixels. So I will start from 250 to 1280. So this is how you cut an image with OpenCV. The thing that you probably will need the most is how to cut the image once you have a rectangle so that you want to crop a specific portion of that image. So we're going to see that one right now. So crop portion of the image, or let's use the proper terminology. Let's use ROI, ROI which will be region of interest. So this is how in OpenCV is defined. When you crop up, when you take some part of the image, that's an ROI because it's the region of interest. But this is just uh, terminology, uh, which will not change what we are going to do right now. Uh, first of all, I'm, go I'm going to uh, draw a rectangle on the colors image so that we have a clue of what exactly we are going to cut. And I'm going to draw a rectangle now exactly surrounding this cup with the colors. Uh, let's do that. cv rectangle. I'm going to draw the rectangle where? We are going to draw the rectangle on EMG. And to draw the rectangle, we need two points. Top left point, right bottom. Top left, we need X and Y. And we have X 385, Y 155. And then we have point two, right bottom, we have x to 851 and y to 613. If you wonder how I got the coordinates, because I checked them before. But we're um, making a simulation, you should get the coordinates from some object detection algorithm, for example, and you will apply that. I, I'm not using the object detection algorithm, I'm, do, I'm doing that manually. And Let's draw a, a green rectangle. So we put zero blue, 255 of green and zero of red. And let's make the rectangle a bit thick uh, with three pixels so that we can clearly see the rectangle. Here we have this green rectangle. On this area, we want to cut. So we want to extract this specific rectangle. So we want to crop this part of the image. How do we do that? exactly the same as we uh, did before to cut the part of the images. 
uh, it's important to understand what coordinates uh, we need to use. Uh, crop, crop, um, now let's say ROI, let's ROI equals, we take the EMG and now from the EMG, we need to define first the rows and then the columns. How do we know the rows? We know the rows because we have the rectangle on position 385, 155, which is top left point. So keep in mind, 385, 155 is this exact point top left. Uh, having this, we have exactly the Y where the cutting begins. And so uh, let's now take the entire image from zero to, so column 853, then comma, from zero to 1280. And let's quickly show this one. Now, we know that we have to cut starting from the top from one, um, from 155. So instead of starting from zero, we start from 155. Also, let's show now the C to M show. We want to show also ROI, ROI, and right here, ROI. And let's run this. Okay. Uh, as you see, so let's remove this one, which we don't need. I'm, uh, I cut it exactly this part. So I started from 155 till where? So we, cut, we start from 155 till right bottom point. Here we have the point two of the rectangle right bottom, which will be X2, Y2. So we need the Y2 of this position. And here we have X, Y, X2, Y2. Y2 is 613. And if I run this, Now you see we exactly did cut from top and bottom and the same we do from left to right. So instead of starting from zero, we start from 385. Instead of ending on 1280, we end on 851. Uh, and this is how it is. And this is the final result. Here, we exactly cut the portion of the image. So we have a full image and we have the ROI, which is this exact rectangle. Uh, this is all for the video of today. If you want the source code, the image, and more information about this, you will find them on the link on the blog below. Uh, for everything else regarding computer vision, for more advanced stuff, I suggest you to check out the PySource Academy. This is all for today and see you in the next video.